Well, this is going to be my last review of Perth Bike Paths for a while because I'm hopping on a plane tomorrow and I'm not sure when I'll be back. But as you can see, the paths over here can be used by absolutely everyone. Doesn't matter whether you're walking, cycling or waddling. Uh, let's start with an old bike path. This is like a 1970s path here that goes over the, uh, the Swan River at the Narrows Bridge. And this is the old side of the bridge. Uh, about 20 years ago, the bridge was duplicated and they shifted the bike path to the other side of the bridge and built a more modern one. But just look at how much better and wider uh, this bridge is than say the Gladesville Bridge. It's twice as wide and it was built around the same time. <laughs> oh, they, they just seem to have been doing things better for a long time. Now, here's a, uh, a new section of path which we've been looking at over the last month or two. The construction's coming along nicely. Unfortunately, I won't be here to see it open, but uh, what you can see here is they've put down a very thick layer of uh, the base uh, sandstone, and they've crushed it and rolled it and wet it and all the rest of it. And, uh, you know, you can see how things are progressing. I think they've been uh, working on this for about a month, and it's gone quite well. And I wonder why these construction techniques aren't adopted in New South Wales. Is it because... Uh, they've got to cross too many driveways or the topography's all wrong or they don't have the right type of sandstone or the, you know, the hydrology is wrong. Who knows, but this seems to be a very effective way to build shared paths. And you know, they've kind of got it down to a bit of an art form over here. Uh, and is there a not invented here problem in Sydney where they continue to build substandard bike paths, I think, because um, then they, you know they're not laying down good foundations and uh, and building a good path. I just I managed to capture a, a bit of the uh, construction work you know as it was going along, and this path you see how it's kind of grey and shiny on the right there. That's obviously after it's been uh, soaked and and rolled, and it has the uh, the appearance of kind of polished concrete. You know it really does come up with an interesting surface. Another interesting thing they do here is when they put in a detour, they put in a proper path. This, that, that was where they were ripping up a detour. You know, they, they actually laid um, a full-on path as a detour, not just some crummy, you know, detour over broken glass and stuff. Uh, that was just to show the quality of the surface treatment they've put down. And this is what you end up uh, if you put this work in, you know, a good foundation, red asphalt, uh, concrete lining of the edges of the path you end up with a nice wide high quality path that's going to last a long time and if you need to, to um, uh, you know detour people around the existing paths because of construction works will you put in a proper detour like this you know close off a lane and uh, you know give, give that to the cyclist and you end up with a really good result anyway hopefully I'll be back in 2022 some of these paths will be completed and I'll be able to uh, have a look at them then.